<laughs> Good solo dancing for sure. <laughs> there you go. Well, here we have our finale choreographed by Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Excited to see what these guys have created in just under an hour. Yeah, it is amazing, day, whether it's here at Canada or the ISU, they have to put these numbers together within really, I guess, about an hour, an yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. And it's it's like herding cats yes. because the, the skaters are just tired. They just want to talk and chat, right? Of course, yeah. So we could hear them a little earlier. Great job by Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. As we see now, the work by Andrew and Caitlin, and all the skaters in the exhibition. You know, it's a final moment at the national championships, a feeling of excitement and relief, really. And they're, they're tired. Yeah. As I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. I've been here since Monday till today. And I think that, I used to think that competing was always the, uh, the hardest part. <laughs> Um, yeah. But, uh, I mean, it still is hard. You know, you, yes, you have your own is. things to deal with. But I think now that I've been on the other side hanging out with you guys, the volunteers, officials, and all that, there's such a newfound sense of appreciation and respect for everything that you guys have done for us as athletes, making sure these events run as smoothly as possible. Um, so I'm definitely feeling the, uh, feeling the exhaustion here as we're wrapping up the exhibition gala today. But... For me, this week it's, it's been such a great experience hosting and basically just having a party every single day with the audience and the skaters. You're doing a great job with everything and it's funny because you've got the rookie fatigue. I mean, yeah. I'm an old dog. <laughs> I've been going like 12 <laughs> hours, 15 hours a day here. But you know what? When you love something, it's not work. Absolutely. And uh, I know you love this and I, I do as well and our whole crew does. And, you know, as we watch this the final finale here the we really want to thank the volunteers of ontario and the ontario skate ontario to take a look at nick and emmanuel and for all the great work they've done in providing the very first canadian championships back with an audience since covid started yep. you know it's so great to have had that uh, your contributions in this side of the boards mm -hmm. poor boy you're gonna have to you know have a massage and have a rest <laughs> and you know take a week off or something after this but um, it's a family, and it always has been, and, and it's a growing family again. It's so exciting to see the young talent. We'll be here to support them, Yeah, as is the fans. We want to thank all the people that attended the competition live here in the audience. Don't forget, when you go to a competition, bring your smart bug radio. Join us in the conversation. Another promo here. Visit skatewithus.ca skatewithus.ca check out those videos vote for or the top three finalists in each one of the category take a look at them and vote for the ones you think are the best pretty amazing work by clubs and skaters around our country we take a look at our top skaters in Canada congratulations to everybody for such a great week it's been so much fun to watch you all Realize your dreams and to perform in front of an actual audience again. Canadian skating will be great again. Ma'am, you said you kind of had that special moment during the second group and feeling a little bit nostalgic and lost. You are now on the other side of the boards. And what you bring to all of us and the next generation is as important as what you contribute on the ice. Maybe more so because you'll impact other people and you'll help them through the journey that you already did. That's you, what's Ted. important. Thank so. you, Ted. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to doing my best to helping out everybody and, and making Canadian skating what it is known for, being the best nation in the world. We've got the strongest athletes there is. Um, 
So yeah, I'm ready to give all my support and love to everyone out on the ice. Well, we've got a mountain to climb, but we have the tools and the people to do it. We want to be the top nation again. 2018, we were, and we have not been for the last couple of years. It's not blame. That's just the reality of life. Rolls around, comes up and down. State Canada is rebuilding. Lots of work yet to do. Lots of excitement. Lots of talent. Wonderful volunteers and a great organization. So as we close out, we can stay on and watch the rest of this. I want to thank my production crew, our audio crew, our announcers, of course, for a great job that they have done. And all the volunteers backstage, State Canada staff here, coaches, parents, most of all, those fine athletes that you see on your screen right now. For all of us here at Skate Canada and in Oshawa, we hope you've enjoyed this week at the Canadian Championships. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for being with us today. We hope to see you.